All right, everyone. So uh, today I'll just be going over the ES and uh, crude, show what trades were available today. All right. So we saw that you know very strong rally on the hourly right here. That's the biggest in 33 waves. Prior to that, you had a very strong rally. That was the biggest in 21 waves. So these are extremely strong rallies, right? Um, and uh, the first one hit a spring, made the high set up the up thrust which pulled back and filled this area set up the next spring and bang all right this one down up down springs again right in spring position right there and then goes up so you know i can't indicate the importance of a, of a spring or up thrust within uh, trading i i didn't really see it as much as i do now but now I not only see it, but also realize how important it is in order to get the necessary short covering to go higher. Because markets, they, they will not go higher. Um, you know, uh, just because there's a lot of breakout buyers, yes, they can. But with the, you know, these thick markets, they really need that additional short covering. Um, and that, that is only caused after you make lower lows. If you make lower lows and you have shorts that have entered, like here, on this break, right? Imagine all the shorts. Now, why do you think they have such a violent move back up? Because these shorts had to cover. And when they cover, they help the breakout buyers and add to the buying pressure because their stops, their buy stops gets triggered. So you have breakout buyers plus the short covering, which creates the rally. See, the shorts got in on the on this pullback here, and they got out on this green bar reversal, which initiated the rally. Now, once again, um, you have this right here, this spring, uh, and it goes. So sometimes you have springs and upthrusts and all of that stuff. Now, here's the thing to remember. The upthrust set up the spring. Again, the upthrust, they set up the spring. The up thrust, they get longs in, and the spring accumulates or washes them out, leading to a very important thing before markup, which is a washout. So they get the longs in, they wash them out, they take the stops, and then move it up. It's just part of, you know, making sure that there are stops there so they can be accumulated. Right, like even here, there's like a little up thrust here because someone bought this green bar and then out and then it runs. So, this is like the normal market behavior where, and you will not see this unless you pay attention to what's going on in these uh, inside consolidation waves. You just won't see it. You just think, all right, you know, it's just shit, you know, like up, down, up, down, doesn't make sense because it's quote unquote consolidating. But there's purpose to this. There is purpose to this, and you know you just have to know, understand concepts like short covering, and uh, what is it, uh, accumulating by doing a stop run, stuff like that. And then you see that there's definitely purpose to this. Anyway, so I hit a spring, it went all crazy over here, and then finally. After they're washed out, you had buyers step in with authority right here. This was uh, like nine, uh, ended 925, the first wave, then had a second wave, right? And what's important about this is it's trading outside this range. The high is trading above it. That's really important because if, it, if it's just, if it's in that same, if it's overlapping the prior high, then it could be an up thrust position to take out the next low. I mean, the, the prior low. So in any case, this basically is confirmation that I can trade in that area. And what are the most important things here? Yes, there's a breakout and all that right here, right? There's a breakout, but what's really important is first, this is the biggest wave in 19 waves. Second, is this bar that's the bar this bar is this bar 
is the biggest green bar in over a hundred green bars. Let me repeat that. This bar is the biggest in a hundred, a hundred or over a hundred green bars. Look in the back at the green bars. This is the biggest one. That's why it's significant. It's statistically significant. It is significant, not because of a pattern, not because of all of that, but it's because this illustrates buying pressure. The range of the bar illustrates buying pressure. Like here, the big green bar illustrates buying pressure. Here, this bar is the biggest in 100 bars as buying pressure. And there it goes. Now you have to have the guts to basically when it went up here to to be ready to take the long on this pullback and not get stopped out because this the maneuver here is a stop run. If you don't see it, this is a, it goes up, down, up, and this right here is a spring. All right, and it resolves this trading range and it, make, it makes the rally high. But just like this resolves the trading range springs this low and makes the high right so even this one hit the spring below these lows and then goes you see the red this makes that lower low boom power pressure one more boom so this is the you know the natural uh, natural movement of the market you, you, and, uh, you know, I, I would strongly recommend getting uh, some type of waves thing. So you start seeing this. Anyway, let's take a look at crude. So crude, um, oh, some pressure here, but. Anyway, uh, let's go here. Uh, what was I? I don't even remember. Okay. So here in the morning, I'm look, taking a look at this, right? right so you're going to see how I'm explaining to you the upthrust to the spring within an uptrend, right? So this is where it works. First of all, the, the, the buying is right here. You very, very, very clearly see that's buying, right? Goes makes the higher high. All right. Now, now here's where it gets interesting. What do you notice? Oh, uh, this one. Damn. Can't even draw. All right, let's use this one. Uh, Okay, you see right here, above that arrow, this right there is an upthrust, all right? What that means to me when I'm seeing that is that the market is attempting, market buying, rally, consolidating, attempted to go up, could not go up. The buy, the buying pressure isn't there yet. The, uh, what is it, the breakout buyers are not, are not, you know, taking it higher. So now look what happens. These are the lows, and what happens? They get sprung right there, all right? They get sprung right there. Now, when it gets sprung, it should take out these highs and whatever, but the damn thing could not take out this high. You see that? What I mean, it makes a higher high, but it's still overlapping. It cannot get out of this range, of this high and this low. It didn't get out of the range, which means that it's back into an upthrust position, takes it back into a spring position, boom. You see? The principle is, when markets attempt to break and they can't follow through, you got a problem if, you, if you're in that direction. So here, they could not follow through when they went and made the higher high, but they cannot get out of the range because they're overlapping the prior high. Same thing, this overlapping the prior high. 
So what happens is they have a tendency after that to do a spring. Why are they doing the spring? There's a couple of reasons. First, they have to get those breakout buyers out because they cannot take the price back up because those breakout buyers that fail to you know, follow through, they will exit at break even. If they're going to exit at break even, that means there's going to be resistance there. So how do you get them out? You have to spring and run the stop. This stop ensures right here that these breakout buyers here that are stuck are out and they're not going to try to attempt to break even. If they try to break, uh, attempt to break even, you can't take price higher. So get them out. Possibly sellers that are looking to short below this low are in. Take it back up. As it goes back up, you have new breakout buyers and the shorts that got in here on this low low covering their position, which then makes the little pop. And we don't know how much further it's going to go because you're going to continue to need breakout buyers to uh, you know buy at high prices. But the idea is you're you now you now have gotten rid of the uh, break even. You know the the traders who want to break even and have added short covering to to the equation, which will help go to higher prices. All right. So that's the way you want to kind of um understand what's going on anyway thank you have a good day bye bye